Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina, salesperson with Fred Anderson Toyota and your complete car buying resource. Today, I'm gonna help unconfusal people. Yes, I said unconfusal. I've got the trim levels of the new 2019 Toyota Prius. I'm gonna show you how to tell them apart. It's like the count from Sesame Street. Prius, Prius two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Prius, Prius three, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, wait, L-E. XLE Limited, El Eco, ah, ah. For the 19 Prius, Toyota did us all a favor. They threw us a bone. How do you know the difference between a Prius 2, a 3, and a 4? Nothing about Toyota's traditional model grade system would even give us a hint. So they made it easy. Like I said, El Eco, LE, XLE Limited. Then we've got XLE All Wheel Drive and LE All Wheel Drive. Now let's tell them apart. Today I brought with me El Eco. The LE XLE Limited. What do you think of this new supersonic red color? And XLE all wheel drive. Whoa, wait, one of these is missing. I don't have an LE all wheel drive right now or coming in in the next month or so. So I thought it was important to leave a space in honor of the LE all wheel drive. And I'll tell you how it's different from the XLE all wheel drive as we go along. A lot of the trim levels and model grades share similar properties. So I'm gonna tell you what they all have in common. They all have Toyota Safety Sense, the original Toyota Safety Sense, not 2.0. So it's got radar here for pre-collision system with pedestrian detection during the daytime. It's got a camera up in the windshield facing outward for lane departure alert with steering assist, radar cruise control, and also automatic high beams. Now this is the only trim level that you will not see parking sonar here, little sensors. It does not have parking sensors with intelligent clearance sonar and intelligent parking assist. It's got LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. It does not have an auto on and off feature. It's got an auto off feature. It has an active grill shutter and then it's got a color keyed accent strip down here by the bumper. LE model in the house. This one is very, very similar to the L Eco, but the LE has intelligent clearance parking sensors right here, all along there for intelligent parking assist and clearance sonar so it goes beep, beep 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 as you get closer to something in front and in behind. XLE has intelligent clearance sonar and intelligent parking assist sensors on it. It's got LED headlights, LED daytime running lights. This one here next to the steering wheel on the light switch you'll see auto. Same thing with the limited and the XLE all-wheel drive and that way it has auto on and off feature for your lights as opposed to just DRL daytime running lights. The Limited, oh, the Limited here. It's got LED headlights and daytime running lights with an auto feature just like the XLE, intelligent clearance sonar, intelligent parking assist, but what this has standard on it versus the other ones, it's got adaptive front lighting system and auto leveling. So when you're going around corners and things like that, it provides extra light in the direction that you're going. And auto leveling, two good examples, when you're going up over speed bumps, ba-boom, or if you're going over railroad tracks, ba-boom, like that, your lights tend to go up in the air and then back down real fast. You might flash somebody, ah, I've been flashed, or you might blind them. So this one here, it just stays level as opposed to going whoa, whoa. level, level, namaste. This is XLE all wheel drive. We're also talking about LE all wheel drive that's missing. So they're both gonna have two new additions, LED accent lights, which I love, and the LED fog lights. I wish every trim level had that but they don't, it's only the all wheel drive. Now the difference between the two of these is, this is gonna have, the XLE is gonna have the auto feature on your light stick and the LE will not. So it has auto on and off lights. They both have intelligent clearance sonar and intelligent parking assist. There you go. Here's the L Eco. I'm gonna pick and choose what I show you on each model because across the entire model grade lineup, a lot of similarities exist. So this is the L Eco. This and the LE both have 15 inch alloy wheels in the silver color, color keyed, outside mirrors. The L Eco does not have blind spot monitor. Every other model does have that. Color keyed door handles. And then the gas tank is 11.3 gallons on everything front wheel drive. It's 10.6 gallons on the all wheel drives. Now there are alloy wheels underneath the wheel covers. I'm gonna show you if I can. This is what the alloy rims look like. We better show you that up close. That way you can kind of choose 
if you want to go with alloys or if you want to go with the wheel covers. You can do this on every single one of the trims. Here's the wheel covers. And some people will choose to keep on those wheel covers. Some people will like the alloys. You decide. Here's the LE model. You can say it has the same wheels, 15 inch wheel covers with those alloy rims underneath it. This one also has, where is that? Blind spot monitor standard in it. Everything else the same. On the right, XLE. On the left, in red, Limited. They both have blind spot monitors, but let's focus on the wheels. 17 inch alloy rims with black accents. No need to peel those off. What do you guys think of this? And I'll show you this in the red color. Not only is it important to check it on the model, but also the color to see what you think. That way you can formulate an idea of the perfect vehicle as it evolves in your head. It's also got the sensors here for intelligent parking assist and intelligent clearance sonar. The all wheel drives, this is XLE, but the LE is gonna be entirely the same, exactly identical. They both have blind spot monitors with rear cross traffic alert, just like the other ones, except for L Eco. Now they have 15 inch alloy wheels on them. And what I've done is I've taken off the rear one so you can see what it looks like with the alloy showing, or you can go with the two tone wheel covers, your choice. And again, they have the parking sensors on the side. That's the wheel cover. And then that's the alloy. Maybe you can ride with it looking just like this. That would be an eye catcher. Holla. Let's talk a little bit about engine performance. I pulled one of the front wheel drives, the limited, and then one of the all wheel drives here so we can show differences in the two. Let's start with the front wheel drive because that's what we're most familiar with. It's a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine, delivers 96 horsepower, 105 foot pounds of torque, but when combined with two electric motors, it delivers 121 net hybrid horsepower, has a hood blanket here, and then it's got a prop rod to keep the hood up. This is electronically controlled, continuously variable transmission, CVT, and it has front McPherson struts, rear multi-link suspension, so it gives you nice, responsive, tight handling when you're going around curves, country roads, mountain roads, and then it gives you nice, soft handling, smooth gliding ride, highways, and city. And then the battery, it's gonna be lithium ion battery in the L Eco LE XLE Limited, i.e. all front wheel drive vehicles. This is as good a time as any to talk about how the all wheel drive system works. First of all, the battery. Instead of lithium ion in the front wheel drive, it's gonna use nickel metal hydride in the LE and the XLE all-wheel drive because the nickel metal hydride performs better in cold weather and Toyota knows a good majority of the customers might be using this in cold conditions, snow. Now the way all-wheel drive works, it has a separate electric motor that's electronically controlled in the rear of the vehicle and that engages whenever you're stopped to six miles an hour. So it gives you that torque to get you going and then between six or seven and 43 miles an hour, it works as an on-demand all-wheel drive system. So if it feels loss of traction or slipping, then it's gonna kick in with the all-wheel drive. And then above the 43 miles an hour, it's just front-wheel drive. Looking at the back ends of the cars, they all have very similar properties, so this should go pretty quick here. The L Eco, this is gonna be the only one that says Eco on it like that. Doesn't say L, hybrid logo here. This is the one model grade trim level that does not have a rear wiper. It also does not have the clearance sonar and parking assist sonar on the back ends. All of the trim levels have LED tail lights, brake lights, and LED clearance lights. This one down here, see the parking sensors? Has a matte black bumper at the bottom. What's up, XLE? Limited, in the house. And then this is XLE all-wheel drive because this is where it says all-wheel drive. What's up? 
Time for our first commercial break. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel and hit the notification bell right down there. That way you're notified whenever I come out with a new sweet video instantaneously. What? And also go to my new website, toyotajeff.com. One of the things you can do is order parts and accessories. We ship right to you from my dealership, all weather cargo trays so that you can put wet, muddy things in the back of your car and not worry about getting it dirty. All weather floor mats so you don't get your floor of the car dirty or wet when it rains or snows or maybe mud guards. Holla. I wanna show you the cargo area here. El Eco is the only one that has a flexible tonneau cover. All other ones, like you see in this LE here, they have the hard tonneau cover that's more traditional to what you're used to. Also unique to the LE model, it's the only trim level that has a temporary spare tire. All other ones, notice that soundproofing material underneath here, keeps the car quiet. We'll look at the XLE, tire repair kit, might as well go to the Limited. Let's go to the Limited. Tire repair kit. Go to the all-wheel drive XLE. Tire repair kit as well. Same thing with the LE all-wheel drive. Let's start with the interior of the L Eco. It's gonna be fabric trim seats. This is in black. And then I'll show you the armrest here. Nice, comfortable, chunky armrest, deep cup holders. I do like that every trim level is gonna have two charging USB ports. Can't do that right like that. Let's look at backseat space for the Prius here. This is with the driver's side more forward and there is plenty of leg room, very comfortable seats, including the middle. Good amount of headroom here. This is with the seat all the way back, so it's gonna be a little bit tighter for me. Luckily, I don't have the world's largest, longest legs, but still very comfortable. Be nice if the seat was a little bit more forward, but we're fine. Here's interior of Prius L Eco. If you're not used to driving a Prius, remember it's gonna have the, most of the instrumentation in the front center the logic is because that's where your eyes are looking closest to the windshield where you're driving. Has the Entune audio. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. So what the L Eco looks like inside, remember those black fabric seats. This is one of the trim levels that does not have a power driver seat. You have to get up to the higher levels, but it does have a pump that can raise and lower your seat. This is for the seat back. Window adjustments here. There we go. And then this is for your mirror adjustments. The gasoline release is right there in the hood release. This is for your automatic high beams, brightness of the dash. And then this is your traction control on and off. Has a composite steering wheel. All of the controls for Bluetooth, for picking up a call, hanging up a call, voice commands, your radio volume. And then we've got the multi-information display right here, lane departure alert, and radar cruise control. View from the passenger side, does not have a power driver's seat, none of them do. Storage room. Oh, come on Jeff, open that up. It opens from the side. Then we've got a storage tray. Storage there, a USB port along with the 12 volt circular power port. Driving mode, you can have different driving modes based on whether you want more power, whether you wanna get better gas mileage. So let's push that driving mode. You can be in eco mode, that's for better gas mileage, mostly in the city, normal driving, and then power mode, that gives you an extra boost of acceleration for when you're pulling out into heavy traffic, going up a hill, things like that. EV mode is electric vehicle, that's going less than 20 to 25 miles an hour, like a parking lot or maybe stop and go traffic on the highway. It only works for a half a mile at a time, so use that to your advantage. Air conditioning, all of them have, I appreciate this, every trim level has the digital automatic climate control here. You can drive, if you push this, you're heating and cooling the front and the rear. 
or just the front, the rear. That's pretty cool. Good use of energy savings. And then we've got the Entune audio. So it has Bluetooth, voice commands. Let's see if we can show that. AM, FM, Bluetooth. Here's how you adjust your front and rear, treble, mid. Bring out the bass. And then up top here, we've got sunglass holder, no garage door openers, anything like that for home link, and lighted mirrors for driver and passenger side. This is LE. It's got the same interior as L Eco and also XLE. This color is Moonstone, kind of like a two-tone with black. It has seat back pockets that are not found in the L Eco. And also what you'll see is a little pocket Reminds me of kangaroo shoes. Two USB ports. So remember, if you're choosing an LE versus an L Eco, you're gonna get the rear wiper, the temporary spare tire, the tonneau cover, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, and then you're gonna get the intelligent clearance sonar with intelligent parking assist. This is what the car looks like from the rear. I just love the interior of the Prius. I don't care the trim level. This is the XLE. We're going to notice that it has the Moonstone, but this is in the Softex. So that's one big difference when you bump up to the XLE from the LE. Now this one has smart key on all three doors. So the back hatch and then the driver and the passenger front doors, as opposed to this one here, which is just on the driver's side. Don't touch that, Jeff. So let's look in here a little bit more. It's got the seat backs and the kangaroo pocket there. Two USB ports. What do you guys think of that Moonstone interior? Very bright, very spacious, very open. Here's the interior of XLE from the passenger side. You're never gonna see the power passenger seat, but just look at the accent trims here. 6.1 inch screen. It's still the Entune audio. The XLE interior. Remember, this is where you get the power driver's seat. So if you want power driver's seat, XLE and Limited are the ways to go. By the way, this right here is the head up display. You get that if you get the advanced technology package. And what that is, is let's see if we can see that here. It shows you the speedometer and other pieces of information on your windshield, not distracting at all, but you don't have to look down to see what speed you're going. Less distractions. Pretty cool. Some other features because it's an XLE, it's going to have a Softex steering wheel. Also going to have heated seats, the Qi wireless charging pad, auto dimming rear view mirror, with home link so you can program in your garage door openers the limited this one has soft text as well it's in black so you can compare that to the moonstone interior everything's the same from the xle to the limited check that out now let me show you what's different now this is the limited here see how it's different whoa 11.6 inch multimedia display what is up with that? That's awesome. It's also got the upgraded Entune Premium Audio with JBL speakers and sound system, integrated navigation system, and the Entune App Suite. It's got home link with garage door openers. This one also has standard safety connect. So if your car is in an accident where the airbags deploy, they will call you in your car. If you don't answer, they'll send emergency personnel. And also you can track your car when it's stolen, which is really, cool hopefully it'll never get stolen so you can't check me on that since this is so new check out what you can do with the 11.6 inch multi-information display that's the electric motor engine when it's recharging the battery it tells you everything I can check out traffic info Says there's slow traffic there. Audio. 
the Entune app suite. And then you'll also see the navigation in giant form. And then a quick scan of limited, just so you can get a feel for the black with the blue stitching. Power driver seat has the parallel parking, the soft tech steering wheel, nice creature comforts, heated seats with two stages, the wireless charging pad, all that same stuff as the XLE. This is XLE all wheel drive. I'm gonna show you differences in the LE all wheel drive. The LE all wheel drive will not have soft text like you see here. It's going to have fabric seating. Similar patterns though. The XLE all wheel drive is gonna upgrade from the LE all wheel drive with the soft tech seats, smart key on both driver and passenger side versus just driver side with the LE. Auto dimming rear view mirror, heated seats, Qi wireless charging, and it also has rain sensing variable intermittent wipers. XLE all-wheel drive. Remember the difference between LE and XLE all-wheel drive is the soft text with that light blue stitching versus fabric seats. It also has a soft text steering wheel. So if you want the big screen, go with the limited. That's the 11 0.6 inch versus the 6.1 inch. I'm going to show you a few things. This is what the head up display looks like. See, and then we've got the regular digital speed and then the all wheel drive indicator on the XLE all wheel drive. Here's the window sticker for L Eco. Made in Japan, L Eco magnetic gray with black interior, strong safety ratings. Gas mileage on El Eco, 58 in the city, 53 on the highway, combined to 56. This is one reason why people will go for that El Eco. Standard equipment there on the left because you're getting El Eco. And then no optional equipment added at the factory. These are options that were added, mostly carpet mats, at the uh, regional assembly point. And then that has a window sticker of 25 one. Here's the LE window sticker. Silver with moonstone. Same safety ratings. The gas mileage has gone down on the LE versus the L Eco. 52 combined, 54 city, 50 highway. Standard equipment because it's an LE. Notice that Entune audio with a 6.1 inch touchscreen. Three USB ports. Love it. And then it has carpet mats and paint protection along the door seams 26.5 let me show you what that paint protection actually looks like so you know Ugh, i stepped on my cord this one here has strips they go all the way down and they protect from when you get chips in the side of your car doors and then it's also got it inside the door cups or the door handles because a lot of people have rings that they scratch up their cars inside we see a lot of trade-ins that look like that see that and then it also has it on the back you can see that on the back of the side mirrors here's the XLE window sticker gas mileage you'll be used to seeing this in the LE model 52 54 and 50 this one has the advanced technology package which is that adaptive lighting system including auto leveling and then the head-up display that you see in the windshield optional equipment that was added and then this is 30,162 but if you take out that $800 advanced technology package or any of these options it'll go down real close to 29,000 limited window sticker supersonic S -s -s supersonic combined to 52 just like the other two before it Standard equipment, check that out. Feel free to stop the video so you can see what's standard because it's a limited. Optional equipment. And then this one jumps up to 34.1. Here's the XLE all wheel drive window sticker here. Gas mileage 50 combined, 52 in the city, 48 in the highway. Standard equipment because it is 
an XLE all-wheel drive. This has the advanced technology package that we saw earlier. It's got the adaptive headlights and the head-up display. Now the gas mileage on the LE all-wheel drive is going to be the same. So it'll be 50 combined. This is the XLE all-wheel drive. It's going to have optional equipment of mats, paint protection, and then this one's 31.1. But remember, if you take away the advanced tech package and some of the options, then you'll have a car that's going to be right about 30,000. Compare that to the XLE front wheel drive. Since I don't have the window sticker, this is a consumer sheet. It's like an electronic window sticker. It's LE all wheel drive. The price on that is 27,593 for a retail price. It has paint protection, cable charging package. The gas mileage is 52 city, 48 highway, average of 50. And then there's standard equipment on it. So that's what an electronic window sticker looks like. So there you have it. Which trim level of the 2019 Prius would you pick if you could? Write down in the comments section. Also check out toyotajeff.com. See you next time. Toyota Jeff, subscribe today. Also, ask for Jeff if you're in the North Carolina area looking for a new car. Jeff Teague, Fred Anderson, Toyota.